Okay, so I want to show you a few color mixing tips today. So you can mix up your own color. You don't have to buy every color at the art store. You can mix up your own color as long as you have the primary colors of blue, yellow, and red. So I'm going to take a little bit of my blue here, some yellow, and I'm going to make a beautiful green by just mixing my blues and yellows together. A little bit of yellow. Right away I've got this great green. I can't really buy that. And I want to show you if you add more yellow to it, it becomes more of a yellow green. So you've got another beautiful color right there just by adding more yellow. If you add more blue, the top I'll do that, you get more of a blue green. So I've got three colors right there just by adding a little more of one color. Now if I take one of these colors and I add some white, I'm going to be able to make what is called a tint. So I'm taking more of my blue-green there. You can see that's more to the blue side. And I add a little bit of yellow, white to that. And I've got a nice almost aqua color just by adding white. That's called a tint. Now if you add black to it, it's called a shade. So I'm taking my yellow green right here. I'll put it right right here and add a tiny little bit of black because I want to make a shade and I make almost an army green just by doing that, just by adding black to that color. So you can add black to any of these and you'll have you know three more colors and this is called a shade. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm mixing up a nice orange. So I'm using warm colors, and that'll be something I do another time. I'm going to start with my yellow first, and then just take a little bit of red here and mix up a nice orange, a beautiful orange here. A little more, let me add a little more yellow to that, and it becomes more of a of a yellow orange. You can see how it's changing. Add a little more red to it up here and it becomes more of a red orange. So I've got three colors there that I can use. Again, I didn't have to buy anything. I just use my primary colors. Now I'm going to come down here with the orange and I'm going to add a little bit of this white to it and I'm going to make my tint. Usually it makes more of a pastel color, but you can see again, there I have another color just by adding white. Now, just a tiny little bit of black, because I'm going to make a shade, and I mix that in here, and I get this wonderful brown color. Just by adding some black to my orange, I now have another color. And that's Okay, I'm mixing up the purple, so I want to use a little bit cooler color. I'm going to use that magenta color with my phthalo blue. Let's start with this so I can see it and add a little bit of that blue until I get the purple I want, that eggplant. There we go. More of an eggplant color. And if I add more red to it, it becomes more of a, a violet. And if I add a little more blue, it's more of a, a blue-purple. So you, you get that from over here. So then again, three colors. I take my purple here. I'm going to add my white to make a tint. Beautiful lavender color just by adding white. You can't buy that in the store. It's gorgeous. There we go. And now a little bit of black to make kind of a really dark eggplant color just by adding a little black to that. You want to try a little more. And you can experiment doing this till you get the right colors, adding different amounts. But there you go. There's a nice dark eggplant color just by adding black. So, so if you enjoyed these tips today, go to my website, kathytaylorart.com. I have some teaching videos there that will help you develop your own creativity and find your voice as an artist.